right, we're back here at the swarm trap. We're going to open this thing up today and put it in a, a tin frame. So let's see what's inside. See how tight that top is. They've kind of glued it shut. Yeah, the best way to get in here. <laughs> there we go. All right, so before I open it up too much and put a little smoke in it, just to now they have been busy. All right, now when you open your eye hives up, you want to make sure that you don't lay things in the grass. Just in case the queen is on there, you don't want to lose her. So that's why I'm kind of <coughs> setting everything up on top of the hive here, because i got plenty of room to work. And you can already see in here, they have been busy collecting honey and nectar, because I can see some fresh caps on top. So they're starting to pour out of the box. I'm just going to give a little smoke here just to make them go down in the box. All right. Let's see here. Which frame I want to... Typically I start with um, a frame that's one end from the outside. I find that's easier to get up than the one that's on the outside. You just want to work slow and deliberate. Slow and deliberate. Try not to squish bees. They don't like that. All right. So what I'm going to do, you notice they've got a bunch of comb built down here. And so that looks like brood comb. Up here you got your these white caps and you know that honey down here you got your brood comb so I'm gonna gently just in case there's a queen on that we don't want to hurt her so I'm just gonna lay this over and just gently take that comb they built off of it and we're gonna actually rubber band that into another frame Let's gently put that frame of bees in here. Slowly lower it, wiggle a little bit. All right. Get this outside frame. Oops, that was not slow and deliberate. All righty. Uh-oh, that was an empty frame. You can see they built comb in there. Put you in the box here. All right. Now, they have built quite a bit of comb in this box down in there. They've been busy bees. All right. So there you go. Mm. I don't know how aggressive they're going to be. Too aggressive. So, sit you there for a second. We'll get a little more out of the way here. Now, let's put you in here. Like so. Alright, so now typically what I try to do is I'm gonna checkerboard these. So I've got some empty frames in here. Um, so I'm going to move these frames over 
There's an empty one on the outside. And I've got one of their frames there that I've moved over. I'm going to put an empty one in here. In between. Move that one over. I'll move that top there. All right, here's another full frame. These bees have been very productive. I'm going to put this full deep in here. And I brought this empty frame. I grabbed a, a medium because I thought the size would work well. It looks like it will. And we're going to take some of the cone they've already built. And we're going to rubber band it onto this medium and put it in here so they can use it. Move that over. All right. It's a very calm box of bees until I slip off the frame there. Ah. Yeah, I wish it. It's so stuck together in the bottom that um, it's going to it's gonna be hard to get that stuff out. All right, so they're starting to get a little agitated. So I'm just gonna give them a little smoke here, just really to get them down in the box some more. And that's all that does. Just makes it easier for me to grab these frames with all the without having all the bees on there. Ah, yep. Unfortunately, I can see big pieces falling now. With some of this right here you see that big piece hanging down yeah. that's a lot of uh drone comb now the drone comb isn't um yeah you don't want a ton of drone comb because the drones don't do a lot i mean they um their role is breeding with the queen you know when she goes out on her mating flights the virgin queens and they have a role, but it's not really defined. You know, they don't s gather supplies. They don't build comb. They don't take care of the babies. So you don't want to have a ton of them. All right. So I'm going to take this comb here and just lightly lay it over here. Try not to squish the bees. I'm not. Um, to be honest, these actually are, for the situation, are fairly well behaved. Um, yes, relatively speaking here. Hmm. All right. So, take this frame, which has a lot of honey on it, like this frame, like if you look at like up here, like that whole side, that whole top part there is honey. Most of this frame is honey. Yeah. So, I mean, this thing probably weighs, um, four or five pounds. All right, so we'll take this comb here. We're gonna hold it in this right here. Take this rubber band. I can get this with sticky hands. With my alarms going off on my phone. And kind of prop that up there. You know, we don't want to lose, I'm trying to preserve as much of what they had built as possible. Um, you know, just the amount of energy they put into it. All right, so there's one rubber band. Now let's take another rubber band here. Now eventually the bees will take these rubber bands and they will um, chew through them 
and actually eventually they'll just come off and fall to the bottom of the hive you can clean them up later that's what they'll end up doing with them but you can see here that kind of do a little crisscross there kind of holds them in and what they'll do is the bees will actually come in and fill in come in and fill in these gaps okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do that with a couple more pieces here of this so let me get a couple more rubber bands i'm gonna go ahead and get them on the frame so that they're easy to work with all right so we'll take um should i set this thing up here so it props up straight all right so i think i'll take uh maybe i'll take this piece here this one it's got a bunch of brood on it all right and we'll take it trying to squish too many bees here see if this will fit in kind of sort of a little squishy kind of move I'm kind of get them in there lined up as best as possible so they don't make it kind of wonky but unfortunately you know some of the larva here on the edge of this one that one actually fits in there pretty good so what we'll do is come in here and take over band put the rubber band here that just kind of keeps it in there you can see all right now this right here is mainly a bunch of drone comb so this piece i'm not gonna um worry about redoing uh, i'm looking to see here no queen did i see which i wouldn't necessarily expect her to be on here at this point but so i'll take this comb and we will try to fit it in here all right take our rubber band one rubber band ah shit sorry for the language <laughs> all right there's two rubber bands all right so you see there jeff the uh try to get in as straight as i can but i mean it's going to be what it is what it is but so you rubber band it in yep. and then what they'll do is they'll they'll fill in and secure it with everything all right so i'm gonna take this here and kind of work you in here ever so gently a little shake as i put you in all right now now comes the fun part But what I would do if if not if this comb wasn't in the box, I would just take this box, literally turn it over, and just give it a quick shake, right. shake them right in that box. But they uh, that's not the case, unfortunately. I'm just trying to give them some room to move around in there.
No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think you will. You know, a lot of this is, I see, like on this frame, it's, you know, you got some brood comb, but there's, there's already larva in there. I wish we could have, I had more empty frames, you know, because they've done a lot of work in here with building this wax so i hate to have them wasted but um if we prop these up in an extra box they'll still be able to have a lot of those hatch out and then you can take the wax and do something with it For the most part, they went pretty well. All right, so we got all the drone, I mean all the drone, we got all this comb had fallen off the bottom of the frames. It's down at the bottom of our swarm trap. Still full of bees. However, we're gonna take care of that here in a second with a quick little shake of this box. And then I'm gonna go grab an empty hive body come back and I'm gonna kind of prop up this comb so that the bees can still use it so that the, the brood comb can still hatch I might get rid of the um, all this drone comb because we don't need that many drones and uh, we'll just set that outside of the hive maybe over on a bucket and they'll come and you know all the bees in the area will come take whatever is in it um, and the ones that are here will find it and take the nectar and everything that they put into it so they'll clean it up so, all right, I'm going to take this top off just to get access here. Now I'm going to take this bottom board, flip it over. I mean, this, I'm sorry, this telescoping top. So like I said, you don't want to set anything in the grass. You want to make sure you set it on top of other hive bodies or on top of the telescoping top. Of course, my belly had in the video there. All right. Now. There's a lot of bees. So this right here was my bait. It's a Q-tip with some lemongrass oil on it. Poked a few holes in this bag. Put it inside the box. We caught a bunch of bees. Uh, some of them went on the ground, so I'm going to be careful walking around here. We don't want to squish the queen if she was to unfortunately not have fallen in the box. All right. So. Oops. All right, I did that just to get all the bees to the bottom of the box. All right, so most of those bees, as you can see, most of the bees are out of the box. All right, I'm back. The unprepared beekeeper is back again. Um, I went and grabbed this medium hive body. Um, I'm going to put that here on top of this 10-frame uh, box, this deep that we got. 
I'm going to kind of position this uh, comb on top. I wish I had the extra frames, but uh, all my bee supplies and my apiary are um, about 30 minutes away. And so today I was just trying to get this done. What I'll end up doing is propping this comb and stuff up in a way that the bees can still kind of work it and hopefully salvage whatever they can salvage out of this, whether that be helping the uh, brood comb here um, hatch out. Uh, getting whatever else they, they need out of it. Um, I may take some of this this uh, drone comb here that you can see. I may not even put that in here. Um, this one too is a lot of drone comb. Um, I may not put that in there. Uh, you know, I'll definitely put in this regular um, brood comb here um, in there. But, you know, I just want to make sure. And then there's still some bees working on that box right there. Um, I'll probably shake those into the top of this when we're done and then move the box more in front and just leave it open for tonight um, so they can kind of go in there and start cleaning it up because some honey did uh, spill in this. So let's go ahead and get this wrapped up. So I'm going to take this piece here, actually, real quick and just move it out of the way. We'll put it over here on the top, telescoping top here. And so I'm going to come in here and just slowly slide this on, kind of gently moving some of these bees out of the way. Like I said, it's unfortunately, there's going to be some casualties whenever you're working your bees. But I'm trying to keep, try to keep those to a minimum. But you can see, you know, there's in here, and it might be hard to see with the GoPro, but in here there's there's nectar that they've collected. I can see pollen that they've collected plus this brood comb. So, you know, I don't want to waste all that work they put into it, even though I forgot, you know, just didn't have enough extra frames with me. Um, so I'm going to take this and just kind of just position it up so that the bees can actually work both sides of it. Um, and just kind of slowly move this stuff around in here do the best I can just to kind of prop it up here and there like you, know, you look at all that nice pollen they've collected in there that thing is chock full of pollen all right and take this one here kind of Gently move the bees out of the way there. Just kind of getting this kind of up out of the way the best I can. All right, let's see here. All right, so I'm gonna take this one, kind of prop it up right there. That's mainly drone comb on that one. So like I say, this one right here is also mainly drone comb. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of drone comb on there. So I may not leave that one in here. I'll put that over here for now. Same thing with this one. This one's mainly drone comb. With, you know, some other stuff mixed in. But I'll just leave it in here for now. Um, leave that one in here for now. And then I'll take this here. And kind of just, just propping it up. So it'll hopefully stand. They'll actually secure it. They'll actually secure this to the top board in here. Um, I just want to have it so that so that they can mm, try not to squish these bees in here. What I'll do is kind of there you go. It's not perfect um, by any stretch of the imagination, but all this honey that's spilled in here, they'll come up here, they'll clean it, bring it down into the, the main hive body. Um, these two here, I'm just going to leave out um, and they can come and get the nectar, but I'm going to leave them out. Uh,
or maybe not. I'll stick it in there. It'll fit. This one here, I'll, because this one doesn't have a lot of bees on it. What I'll do is just leave this one. I'm going to leave this one in the box for now. Well, maybe not. Keep making my adjustments. I'm going to take this one and just put it over here on top of this screen. And the bees will come rob out that nectar that's in there. So. All right, so at this point, still a lot of bees in here. So I'm gonna take these bees, see if I can, I'm just gonna give them a tap, get them back down to the bottom. See all those bees in the bottom now? Now I'm gonna dump them. Right on top. All right. So now there are very few bees left in this box. For right now, I'm just gonna leave this right here. It's got still got some sticky in it. They can come in and clean that up. Yeah, they can come in and clean that up. These bees have actually been very docile today for the amount of trauma that I basically put them through tearing their hive apart and put them here in this box so normally when I open some of my hives in my apiary they bounce off my mask off the screen on the on the veil but these actually I don't know if I've had any do that so all right so I'm gonna take the Telescoping top here. Knock some of those bees off. Take this and just gently work it down. Hope the bees got out the way. So, there we go. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. So let me know in the comments what you think. I am not a professional beekeeper. I've only been doing it for a couple years. I'm also not a linguist. So if I use the wrong terminology or I pronounce something the wrong way, please don't give me too hard of a time in the comments. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I think I'm going to name this the uh, unprepared beekeeper vlog. Um, so I guess this will be my first episode. Anyway, I'll catch you all later.